I'm here at the AAPM 51st annual meeting here in sunny Anaheim, California, where healthcare professionals in the field of medical physics will convene to discuss the latest developments in radiation therapy and medical imaging. The show takes place from July 26th to July 29th. The show expects more than 2,000 scientific registrants to attend educational sessions and see products on the exhibit hall floor. Imaging Technology News is here to cover the latest technologies featured on the exhibit hall floor. So why don't you join us? It's right this way. I'm Bill Dowd, Vice President of North America for Nucleotron Corporation. And on behalf of our entire organization, I'd like to welcome you here to the 51st edition of the AAPM Conference in sunny California. This year, our booth is all about innovation and providing you with exciting new products to help you improve patient care. Hi, I'm Tom Chadwick from Nucleotron. We've got a couple of really exciting products this year at APM. We've got the Oncentra MBS solution for model-based segmentation that really speeds up uh, contouring time. And we also have Oncentra VMAT, which is a rotational therapy uh, solution for external beam planning. So this is the Oncentra model-based segmentation module. Uh, we're uh, planning a, a prostate here. We're just going through the contouring process and actually what we're doing is we're pulling uh, these models onto the uh, CT scan and the system will actually uh, find the contours and assist in the uh, segmentation process. The uh, Oncentra MBS really uh, aids in uh, uh, ensuring that you have consistent contours and also speeds up the uh, contouring process quite substantially. This is the Oncentra VMAT solution. It's a uh, brand new addition to the Oncentra external beam offering. Uh, allows for uh, full planning for rotational therapy for both the uh, Varian and Electa Linux and provides um, uh, a, a great deal of flexibility in your uh, external beam planning. I'm Jeff Marcus, Vice President of Worldwide Sales with Varian Medical Systems. Welcome to our, our booth at the 51st Annual AAPM Convention in Anaheim, California. Okay, at Varian, we're a leading manufacturer of linear technology for linear accelerator-based radiation therapy treatment from regular 3D conformal to stereotactic radiosurgery. One of the latest developments on the linear accelerator is the technology unique to Varian called RapidArc, which allows for patients to be treated instead of 15 to 20 minute time slots to be treated in one to two minute time slots. Okay, so with RapidArc, as we talked about a minute uh, ago, you can see the rotational um, linear accelerator rotating around the patient, which is delivering the dose in a more conformal fashion uh, while limiting the monitor units that are used um, to treat the tumor. Reducing the monitor units is significant because it allows for less scatter in the body, therefore secondary potential secondary cancers uh, may be eliminated. It also a side effect of RapidArc was in fact the ability to treat a patient in a much shorter period of time, which is significant because with uh, time on the table comes movement of the tumor. So the more stable we keep the tumor and the more accurately we can measure the movement of the tumor, the more accurate the treatment. The next great advancement in radiotherapy that Varian is pioneering is the ability to treat moving tumors. Uh, what you see on the screen now is a 4D rendering of a tumor, uh, the fourth dimension being time, that um, we, uh, we can track now with our imaging capability and as I mentioned a minute ago, treating the tumor, um, assessing the motion and treating the tumor while it's moving uh, enables a more accurate treatment and a more accurate delivery of the radiation, sparing health healthy tissue. And of course in lung, uh, lung tissue is so fragile that sparing healthy tissue is uh, a very positive thing. More patients die each year from lung cancer than most other tumors that, that we treat. And by, by addressing the movement of the tumor in the lung while the patient's breathing, we can hopefully save at least 100,000 more lives over the next five years. As you can see over here, our newest development is a product called Acuros, which actually in, improves the dose um, accuracy of brachytherapy. It was released several months ago. We just got 510K approval on it, and it's been a very, very hot uh, topic at the uh, show uh, at AAPM.
Good morning. My name is Kevin Reynolds. I'm with Phillips Healthcare, and we're here at the 51st annual meeting of the American Association of Physicists in Medicine in Anaheim, California. It's an exciting place to be, and we're excited to be here because we're showing uh, some some new products from Philips uh, that will help in the treatment of cancer care uh, in radiation therapy, uh, and it, we're, we're staying on the cutting edge of, of where we are in, in getting cancer under control. The newest thing for us this year is uh, the ability to plan for volumetric modulated arc therapy. Uh, this is a new paradigm for treatment which allows faster treatment times uh, for all different types of cancer for patients who are undergoing radiation therapy. Uh, our part in that, plan in that is the planning part. So this is going to show you some things that have to do with smart arc specifically. It's available in version 9 uh, and it's just an integrated part of what Pinnacle already is as the benchmark planning system uh, that's available today. Uh, basically, we, we're doing comparisons now with traditional, what we call DMPO treatment, which is direct machine parameter optimization. And the next screen will really show you how the, the uh, control points are being delivered. As you can see, the beam is moving clockwise around the patient. And while that's happening, the leaves are moving in order to, to modulate the dose that's being delivered to the tumor. If you look very carefully now, dose is being delivered and the lines that are showing up actually were dose lines that show uh, areas of uniform dose to the tumor. You can see, if you can see the screen, that the plan is, is in process of being, uh, of being created. Uh, the, the big thing here is that we're really focusing on speed in two places, both speed in the delivery and speed in the planning. Speed in the delivery is the key issue because we don't want to leave the patient on the table for very long. Mr. Jones, who's on the table, is a breathing, digesting, burping, scratching patient, and every time he moves, it brings things in and out of focus for the radiation beam. That's one thing we want to do is to get him off the table very quickly. The other thing is, the part that we're involved with, is the planning speed. And with our, our version 9 and SmartArc, we're moving to a lot of different new things that will make that whole process faster for the planning staff. The other thing is that we're moving to 64-bit processing. What that means is that you've got a whole lot of bits of information uh, available to you. 2 to the 64, actually instead of 2 to 32, which is a huge, huge difference. So we've taken the, taken the ceiling off of the number of parameters that we can manipulate at any point in time. And that's big, big news for both the planners and for the patients, certainly. Hi, I'm Calvin Maurer. I'm the Vice President of Research at Actory Incorporated here at the 51st Annual Meeting of the AAPM. Accure Incorporated develops and markets the CyberKnife robotic radio surgery system, which is shown here. The two, several features of the system. One is a compact, lightweight, linear accelerator mounted to a robotic manipulator. This allows the radiation beam to be directed from a wide solid angle of non coplanar beams. This feature allows the generation of treatment plans that concentrates dose in the tumor while minimizing dose to normal tissue and critical structures. A second key aspect of the system is the ability to accurately deliver these plans. So we do this with a stereo imaging system that has two imaging sources mounted on the ceiling and two detectors in, mounted in the floor. One of the technologies that we're showing at this meeting is the iris variable aperture collimator, which is shown here. The iris collimator size can be varied throughout treatment. This allows the creation of higher quality plans that can be delivered faster.